YouTube tells me that over two thirds of my audience isn't actually subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Enjoy the video. All right, welcome back to RimWorld. I'm really yellow. Why am I really yellow? What the hell? Anyway, welcome back. We are going to play some more RimWorld. As always, not really sure what we're gonna do. I feel like I start that off. I feel like I start RimWorld off every single time with, I don't know what we're gonna do. Combat supplier, okay. Let's, uh, hold on. Let's save the game. Go back to the main menu. Go to the mods. Turn off more trade ships. Cool. The last time I played this game, I had way too many trade ships. I actually broke the record for trade ships, if you can believe that. Psychic drone. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay. What should we buy? A golden club? It costs four and a half grain though, so maybe not. Not really anything I want, really. I mean, I can take your components. Actually, I really don't need to. But what we should do is... Who has our best melee skill? Or maybe our worst melee skill. So 5, 11, 3 is pretty bad. 5, okay, let's give it to shield. So shield is also a transhumanist. So let's go to operations. Um, install power claw in his right hand once he eventually goes into here. Yep. So they're going to remove his hand. They're going to just go chop, and then we're going to add a power claw to it. So, rah. I wonder how long it's going to take. I mean, all you need to do is like chop that off, chuck a power claw on, sticky tape. All done, right? That's really quick. Yeah, that was really quick. Power Claw. Uh, we've got a visitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And he has Transhumanist Pleased. Very nice. Okay, Fitz, can you talk to Rego, please? And then I also need you to mine out this, because there's a bunch of stuff here that we could use. Um, he's got a revolver. He's got herbal medicine. He's got pemmican. No, don't want any of that. Let's also just, like, designate a place over here. Just like that. Yeah, that's symmetrical, yeah. And then chuck a couple of wood floors in there. This is gonna be where we store our batteries. Cargo pods. Nutrient paste mill. Okay. I guess we'll take it. I mean, it's food, so I guess we'll take it. Uh, can we get to that? We can barely get to that. Take it. <laughs> can you walk over these switches? If you can walk over these switches, there's going to be a great design. But if you can't, it's going to be uh, just okay. I hope you can walk over these switches. Pan, can you work on that switch? If you could walk over the switches, that'll be great because I could flip between these different powers. So every day I could just like flip this one on and then flip these two off. So that way we're using this power for one day. And then on the days where we're not using it, we could just use a different power. So we've got like a bunch of extra power ready. Uh, we've got one guy attacking us, which is perfectly fine. Are they attacking immediately? They are not. Plenty of time. Okay, you can. Perfect. It's fine. Great design. Wonderful. And they're attacking over here. So let's get Lurcher ready, and let's get Dragon ready. I don't know which way he's coming. Is he going like up or is he going across? Okay, he's going up. Okay, here he is. He's got a pistol. Just don't shoot my chairs, don't shoot my chairs. Get him. Yeah, easy. No contest. Hey, you guys can go to bed now. <laughs> uh, as Fitz draws into the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes him. He isn't sure why, but he feels that his dusty structure might make him great danger. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Okay, I think maybe... Maybe, you know? Maybe.
I don't know why I always open those and I expect... I don't know. I don't know what I expect. But two centipedes and two scythers is not what I expect. Donkeys. A group of donkeys. How many donkeys? Two donkeys. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually feed the donkeys at the moment. We're having a little bit of trouble feeding... Having a little bit of trouble feeding our actual colonists, so... Goodbye, donkeys. It was a short time you were with us, but... Oh, everyone's asleep. Okay. Uh, I'll salute you later. Don't worry. <laughs> Potato. Let's make this rice. Body. Nice. So now we've got three growing zones with all of the different types of uh, food. Hey, they slaughtered. Saved it just in time. Mega sloth self-tamed. Huh? Okay. Um, do I want to keep a mega sloth? Hmm. I feel like I do. I think we have the most granite. Okay, so let's make floors. Granite. Okay. Let's make these out of granite. Here we go. Perfect. Looking pretty good. Oh, look at this. Did a thing drop and the raccoon died? Did a meteorite fall from the sky and the raccoon just died because of that? Or did it just see the amount of steel there was and just go, wow! And just drop dead. It's really weird. Why is it, why is it dead there? Donkey 2 has given birth. Um... I... Okay, yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's turn these off, actually. I want to power one of them at a time. Uh, he will move faster for the next eight days. Not bad. Oh, this isn't connected. That's why they're not receiving any power. Space trunk. Space craft has landed nearby. I can deconstruct them. Cool. <laughs> Space chunk. I was thinking of buying Cyberpunk just to see how quick it takes to get to a glitch. Because I think that'd be pretty funny. How much is Cyberpunk right now? $90? Alright, well. Never mind. <laughs> That'll be the most expensive video I've ever made. So, what this is, right? What this is, is just in case we have... So, I'm going to disconnect all of these once they're done filling up. So, if we ever have, like, a thunderstorm, that's fine. If we ever have, like, a thunderstorm or one of our batteries explodes or something like that and we lose all our power, I can just go over here, flick this one on, and then we have an extra set of power. So, technically, we have three extra sets of power. So, we're, we've got a lot of redundancy. Um, let's just build a column here. So, then we can build... Because if we leave electrical circuits out in the sun, there's a chance that it could explode. So let's just build a roof area there. And then we'll build a power conduit. There. Cool. Geothermal power! Nice! Um, let's try and finish this game. Let's go for... I need the multi-analyzer, right? To get all of this. God, I need the multi-analyzer to get the crypto sleep casket, to get the vacuum crypto sleep casket, to get the rest of this. Yes, a multi-analyzer. So, if I'm over here... Where is... Here it is. Uh, production power. Geothermal power. Although, they do need a door to get in. Do we have any other... Meteorite landed? Okay. That's not a lot, but we'll take it. Uh, do we have any other geothermal powers that are close? There's one up here. I want one closer though. Oh, here's one. Animal starvation. Oh, you ate all the food. Okay, fine. You're allowed inside the base. <sighs> Why? Why'd you have to eat all the food? It says we have 1400 food, but where are we storing all that food? 
There's 200 there. Oh, there's hit zombie. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I think this game is definitely the most fun when you're just chilling. When you're not working towards anything, you're just trying to live, you know? Just trying to live. Marauder Encampment. Okay. The Riesling Bacchus, chief of people of Ulatonza, has sent us a message. Apparently, tribes people based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. The camp is controlled by people of Mibamako. Uh, Riesling is asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating the, all enemies and turrets. He says that it's a bandit camp at the site guarded by two tribes people. Where is the bandit camp? Is that it? Shack of goodies, Koi's cache of fortune. Where, where is the thing? Do I need to accept the quest first? I think I need to accept the quest first. Look, if there's only two people, I'll accept the quest. And I definitely want an uh, architect arm. That's definitely worth it. Okay, jump to the bandit camp. There it is. So, I don't think we send it- We don't think we send it from the snitzel. I think we send it from the palmy. Because we have like a ton more people. So, quests. Uh, sorry, world. Caravan. Add a waypoint. Add a waypoint back. So, that's about four days. Uh, Red Goisa. Chico. That's it. Uh, we definitely need more... Where is it? Travel supplies. No, we're sending the package survival meals. It's what I got them for. Herbal medicine, let's send... 50. Medicine, zero. And then both of the bedrolls. They should be good. And I think we might want to hold it off there. We'll go kill the bandit camp next episode. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. It's a combat supplier. Let's see what they want. Um, we can sell this large sculpture. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy a... Let's... No, let's not buy anything. Yeah, let's just sell the sculpture. Please take the gold on your way back. Don't just leave it there. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. For last quest, I told you to contact them. Oh, there's no power. Oh... Okay, I follow. My brain is working. I'm following. I'm looking. I'm seeing. I understand it. Whoops. <laughs> That's fine. We can still get it to... Never mind. The combat supplier just left. Okay. Thanks for nothing, I guess.